What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima. And today I'd like to show you how to get Gosaku's armor, which is one of the best sets in game if you're a big fan of melee combat. We'll get into what it does here in just a little bit. But first of all, this is the area that you have to get to to get Gosaku's armor. So what you're going to have to do is be out of Act 1 and start into Act 2 and done the very first part of Act 2, A New Horizon. Once you have done that, you can travel to this area that I'm showing you right here on the map. And this is where you will find the storyteller. Of course, he will tell you all about Gosaku's armor. The reason, I, like I said at the beginning, I think this is such a good set is because it is made for melee style fighting. So if you're a huge fan of just hopping in fighting, this is definitely one of the sets that you're going to want to have. We'll go over in a minute of exactly what the upgrade stats are and that kind of thing. But once you talk here to the storyteller, he will give you the story, of course, of Gosaku's armor. And he will give you six farms that you have to go save captives from. So the Mongols have these six farms. You're going to go fight the Mongols. And, of course, then you're going to set free the prisoners that they have captive. I'm going to show you these areas on the map right now. There's two areas up here where Act 2 takes place. Then there's four farms that you have to go uh, free prisoners from back down in the original place where Act 1 took place. Just keep in mind, every time that you complete one of these farms, you're going to get a cutscene, that kind of thing. Uh, be sure to go back into your journal and set the quest back on because it's going to take away these little magnifying glasses that you see here on top of the farms. And you're not going to know exactly which farm to go to. So make sure you turn on that quest each time you complete one of these and you will have that magnifying glass there. Now, every time you go in, you're going to have to fight. Of course, it's going to take a lot of traveling. It's going to take a bit to do all this. But once you have completed each zone or each farm, uh, you're going to free all the prisoners. One of the prisoners will give you a key. All the prisoners are going to talk to you in a little bit of a cutscene, kind of like you're seeing here on screen. But one of these prisoners are, is going to have a key. So once you have freed all these prisoners in each farm, like I said, you will receive a key from one of them. And of course, when you receive that key, you're going to kind of see that what's going to pop up here on screen in a minute, letting you know you have the key. That way you can go on to the next farmland um, or the next farm that you have to, you know, kind of take over. There are six keys in total, and you have to have all six keys to access the area that I'm about to show you now. Once you have all six keys, you will arrive at this area. Of course, you're going to fight some enemies. I cut that part out. There is a lot of enemies here, so be prepared for that. And then you will see this door is kind of right here, right here at these steps. For some reason, when I first got here, it did not want to let me in for a second. You'll see here in just a minute what I'm talking about. But this is the area that you're going to go to, of course, to get the armor, which is kind of right up here at the start of Act 2 as well. It's pretty much right where you come in to Act 2. Uh, as you can see, for some reason, it's not uh, acknowledging that I'm here and I have all six keys. If it does this, you have all six keys. Just walk around a second. I'm not sure if it's still registering you know, all the items you picked up from all the fighting. But you'll see this little, uh, you know, your character talking across the bottom of the screen here if you have the subtitle zone. And then it will allow you to access this door. It's pretty much the same concept as any other thing you've done in game. You're going to have to climb up, jump across, all that kind of stuff to get to the area. I'm going to show you exactly in the video here how you get there. But let's talk about the armor real quick while I'm getting there. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you something that is very, very cool with this. Excuse me, my voice is about to go. With this armor when you upgrade it. The armor itself has a massive health increase when it's fully leveled up. Also has a major increase to stagger damage and killing staggered enemies restore 20% of your health. As you can see, this is the reason you want this if you are a melee character. If you're a melee style character, this is a must have set in my opinion because all of the health bonuses that you receive just for having the armor on, of course the health bonus you get from killing a staggered enemy or the health that you get back. This is just very good to hop in and fight. You know, this is a very good set just for those melee style fans. I'm a really big fan of the fighting in this game, the combat. I like all the combat, but the melee combat is just epic in my opinion. So that is the one reason I wanted this set. Of course, you're just going to continue around this path as you guys can see. Just kind of crawling, hopping across, using your uh, grappling hook, that kind of thing. And once you get to the top, this is where the armor will be located. Now, like I said, when you first get the armor, it looks different uh, kind of to begin with than it does when you fully upgrade it. The fully upgraded version looks absolutely awesome besides just the stats that I told you about that you get from having it upgraded. But the look of it is just incredible when it gets to the point of you upgrading it completely. Of course, this is what it will look like once you first, uh, once you first have received that armor. And then once you upgrade this armor totally, uh, you'll see here in just a second that the helmet changes. And I think that's one of the coolest parts about it. 
Anyway, guys, let, leave me a comment. Let me know. Have you got Gasaku's armor yet? If you have not, I would highly recommend it. Like I said, if you are a melee fighting fan. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. Be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs, office chairs, anything pretty much for your gaming needs. And their information is linked down in the description. And also you can join the community discord. That information is also down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.